Hi everyone, I live in Staten Island and we have an AC Moore uh, outlet, so a lot of great uh, buys on everything and I have a great haul today. I'll start with these uh, Prima flowers I got for a dollar twenty. I don't know if you can see them very well. Uh, just plain white flowers. Uh, I got a couple glue guns for a dollar sixty-seven. I mean, really, you can't pass them up, right? For dollar sixty-seven, they had some great uh, stamps. I'm not really much of a stamper, but um, I really liked this um, Eiffel Tower and the the vintage look of everything on here. And these were also a dollar, so I couldn't really pass those up. I think these might even have been a little less, maybe uh, 50 cents even. And I got some Prima flowers um, so that I can start decorating some stuff. Uh, and these were, let's see. Is it possible I only paid a dollar twenty for these? I'm not really sure. That can't be right. But anyway, less than seven dollars for this. Some more stamps. Uh, I liked the sentiments on there. Uh, friends forever. Hello. Get well soon. Um, just because. Um, this was on sale for something like a dollar as well, so um, I can't ha wait to alter this. It should be a lot of fun. Also, um, some K and Company, the Susan Winget. Um, these are die cuts. And if you, sorry, I'm learning how to use the camera. These are all the different die cuts that come with that. That was also just a dollar. Um, these are some. Uh, Letters, K and Company chipboard letters, Brenda Walton. This was a dollar and change. I like the color, kind of a copper color to that. It's a little different. Oops, some more stamps. Fifty cents. Couldn't pass this up really. A uh, cute little birdie with um, nice sentiments. You are my sunshine. Um, you can do this. Again, I'm not much of a stamper, but 50 cents, come on. Uh, I am a big traveler, so these are some travel stamps, Bon Voyage, Road Trip, that kind of thing. I thought they were cute. Uh, my big purchase was um, a Tim Holtz uh, paper distressor. Uh, this was on sale. Uh, so it was less than ten dollars. This was the thing I spent the most on. They had these cute little journals there, and they ended up costing me sixty cents each. I mean, you know, these will make cute little gifts. Uh, I'm a teacher, uh, so maybe for students or even for. Uh, the teachers that work for me could embellish them and, and make a nice little notebook. It's always nice to have little notebooks around. I'm a big fan of the blank books. Um, I'm new to embossing, so I bought some embossing powder. These were uh, a little over $2 each. The company's name is Whispers. If you can see that. Uh, this is called Clear Glitter. Uh, 
this is a, a gold color. Silver. And this was an opaque, so I just felt like I would get the basics um, because I'm interested in doing some uh, more embossing and, and using my heating tool for that. And they had some cute little ribbons for 50 cents. Very springtime. You know, they're not very big, but again, they might have even only been 25 cents, so I didn't feel too bad about that. And then um, a lot of laces I bought today. Uh, these are also 60 cents, so uh, it's probably very hard to tell what these look like. Um, let's see if I. There we go. Can get it off for you, but again, 60 cents. I thought it would be nice to just get a little um, stash of some different kinds. There was a cute little mint green lace, so I tried getting that. Not sure what I'm going to use all this stuff for, but um, you know, what the heck, 60 cents. A little yellow one. some pearl trims also uh, 60 cents so you got a white and um, a, a off-white color I don't know some other trims these looked interesting uh, again they were in the 60 cent range so couldn't pass those up and um, these aren't necessarily crafty but um, I might keep my crafting notes in them. Uh, some cute, really cute little blank books for $2. Um, again, I'm a huge blank book fan, and I thought these were really very interesting. Sorry about the glare as I learn to uh, get the camera. So that was a very successful day in Staten Island. Hope everybody's doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.